So, yeah, we need to sign him. Like, now. Sign him to the active roster and have him as your third quarterback moving forward. Keep in mind, you know, we cut L. Collins, so we have an extra roster spot available. There's no reason not to go out there and get Will Greer back this time. Don't put him on your press squad. Put him on the active roster. Because although, yes, we did just, um, you know, promote A.J. McCarron to our active roster, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Right At the end of the day, you want to have as many great talents at the quarterback position as possible. Because if Jake Browning doesn't work out, okay, well, you got A.J. McCarron. What if A.J. McCarron doesn't work out? You have Will Greer. You have three quarterbacks just in case things get really bad in one or two games. Now, I do have a lot of faith in Jake Browning moving forward, and I have faith that he's going to be very successful. But the thing is, again, especially not even for success-wise injury purposes, what if, you know, Jake Browning, knock on what it doesn't happen, or A.J. McCarron, knock on what it doesn't happen, you know, goes down with injuries? You want to have an option automatically. And we're not going to go with the guy Pluck, I think was his name, the local guy. Will Greer, you sign him to your roster. Well, you had him on your practice squad in the preseason. You had faith that he could be the guy. Right before you could promote him to be your starting quarterback uh, when Joe Burrow had a calf strain, he got plucked out of the waiver wire, plucked off the process squad, and went to the Patriots. Was so I went to the Cal? No, you went to the Patriots. So at this moment in time, again, I don't see the reason why you should not just pick him up. They just put um, Joe Burrow on the IR today, so now we have another again another roster spot. They picked, they uh, elevated AJ McCarron up as the backup quarterback. And I feel like this would be perfect to have all three on the roster in case something happens. You never know. You always have all three. Because, listen, moving forward, the rest of these games, Pittsburgh, Jacksonville, um, Viking, Chiefs, Pittsburgh again, and obviously the Browns, you need to have every single chance possible to be successful, right? And there's a reason why they picked up Will Greer in the preseason. Because he did look very good in the preseason. So, I'm just saying right now, if I'm the Bengals, I would pos I would probably pick up, if I'm being honest, I would probably pick back up L. Collins. Put him back on your roster. But, if you're not going to do that, which you're probably not going to do, I would go ahead and go get Will Greer. I mean, again, like I said, what, what could this hurt in all uh, actionality? You're going to sign him to a one-year... Nothing guaranteed contract. You know, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Keep in mind, with Jake Brown coming in and obviously potentially AJ McCarron playing too, we are moving forward here looking for a backup for Joe. Like, this is not, obviously this season's important, right? We're worried about this season. But at the end of the day, we're also worried about finding that actual glorified slash capable backup for Joe Burrow. And at the end of the day, I think Jake Brown could be that guy. But if he can't be that guy, you need to go find someone who can be. So either you're going through the draft or you're waiting for free agency. Well, look at all your options. All I'm saying here for the Bengals is look at all the options you have available and go with the best option you think is available. Clearly, there are some kickbacks last some not 100% confident in Jake Browning um, because if you look back when Joe had the cash strain, a lot of people said he should sit out and he shouldn't play. Instead, well, the first couple weeks of the season especially, instead they go ahead and put Joe out there. We lose the first three games, first two games. We won the third game, and then we lost the fourth game. So though that time period, though, we could have went with Jake Browning. Instead, we don't go with Jake Browning because they had more confidence that 50% Joe over 100% Jake Browning. Obviously did not work out in those first four games. Well, three games, I would say. First four games, excluding the third game. And that clearly showed, right? If they don't have faith in this guy, then, and you already know how the fans are going to be, if Jake Browning starts playing bad or not moving the ball, punting the ball three and out, there's going to be people calling for A.J. McCarron. So, and if A.J. McCarron doesn't get it done or an injury happens, Will Greer is not a bad option. He really isn't. He can run this offense. He knows this offense. He did preseason with us. Now, obviously, not the whole preseason, but the end of the preseason with us. 
I'm just saying, out of all the options, this is not a bad option to sign. Also, probably go get Lyle Collins back and sign him back to the active roster. And then you're good. Okay, then you're good. I think that's all we really need to do moving forward. But it's one man's opinion. See you guys in the next one. Peace.